Right, George has £5,000 to buy some Petro shares. I'll look back up here at Petro shares. Okay, there are Petro, 415 pence, I remember. So, work out the largest number of shares he could buy. Right, so how many shares could he buy? Well, let's think of I'm trying to think about this. If, if they'd cost 5000 pounds then he could buy one if they cost one thousand pounds then i can imagine that he could buy five of them so what have i done i've divided my number of pounds here by the, the by the price so five thousand divided by five thousand would give me one which is the one share 5,000 divided by 1,000 would give me five, five shares that he would be able to buy. So that's what I need to do. I need to divide my number of pounds that George has by the price. So I've got 5,000 pounds, and I want to divide that by the price. And the price is 415, but 415 pence. So that's the same as four pounds and 15. Because this is in pounds this this part is in pounds this has got to be in pounds as well for this calculation to work so I'm going to do 4,000 sorry 5,000 divided by 4 pounds 15 and that gives me again I'm going to try convert it to a decimal 1,204.81 1, 1204.81 now what is the largest number of shares that he could buy do I round this up? 1,205. No, because he couldn't buy that that 1,205th share. He could buy 1,204, 1, but he doesn't have quite enough money to buy the 1,205th share. So and my answer is that he could buy 1,204 shares in total with that £5,000. And that's question 6B for three marks.